Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. We hear you. You're live. Who is with me? Uh, yeah. I'm all right. All right. What do you want to debate about? You are a Muslim? Yeah. To be honest with you, I cannot debate a Muslim. Very intelligent. You tell me, what do you like me to ask you? You see, because you are very smart and you are very, you know, I mean, scary. Tell me the question and I will repeat the question as it is to you. <laughs> okay. Um, my question to you is, uh, how do you know that Jesus is God? How do you know that Jesus is God? Is that the question you like me to ask you or this is a question you like me to ask myself? I want you to um, answer that question uh, to the best of your knowledge. All right. Well, I will. I will. I will. Um, I will answer you, my friend. So let us go and see how we can answer this question. By the way, you gave me a very hard question. I don't know. Is it okay if I call a friend, or I should do it by myself? Well, I mean, if you can do it yourself, that would be very helpful. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. You know. All right, mm -hmm. my friend. Do you believe in the Quran? <clears throat> um, I've had my doubts. Oh, okay. So you are a Muslim, but so so. Yeah, exactly. All right, that's wonderful. I encourage you to have more, more, more of so so. We go in the Quran. Okay, why if, we, if we go in the Quran, the Quran yeah. says the following. Mm -hmm. Do you speak Arabic? No. No, oh, that's okay. Then we will read the translation. Yeah. Chapter four, verse number one seventy one. Okay. Okay. If we go there, we will find the following. The Quran confirm. Yeah. That Jesus the Christ is the son of a woman. Her name is Mary. You agree with that? Yes, I do. And then he is Allah Messenger. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay. And then he says, and he is his word. Do you agree with that? Um. What do you mean he is his word? Uh, don't ask me. The Quran says that. The Quran says, and Jesus. Jesus is the son of Mary and he is a messenger and he is his word, which means the word of Allah. Do you agree with that? Can you get the narration up, please? Well, his, his word, you can go, you can go open right now and see the narration. This is, this is Quran, what I will do for you. I mean, now, you want to read the interpretation, you mean? Yes. Well, the, the word of Allah is the word of Allah. Allah, he speaks words, he say words, you know. So he is the word of Allah, as simple as that. Now, and then he continues saying, which he bestowed on Mary. So this mm -hmm. word, this word is coming from where? It's coming from heaven. Okay. Okay. So we agree, me and you, that he is his word, and as long as he is his word, so he's coming from heaven. On Mary, oh. and spirit yep. proceeding from him. Spirit, Jesus Christ, is a spirit proceeding from him. That's true. Okay. Yep. So you agree with that? I do. All right. So let us, me, me and you, organize things together. Focus on your people. Okay. Jesus I'm is the messenger. All right, I will. I will, yeah. I will do this. I'm going. Mm -hmm. I'm going to copy the point one by one, the one we agree upon, me and you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So Jesus is the messenger of Allah. I'm going to copy that, and I will paste it on the screen, so we can yeah. count with the things we agree upon. Okay. All right. So he is first the messenger of Allah. Okay. Yeah. Second, he is. He is his word. He is his word. Bestowed yeah, Mary, in, which means he is yeah. coming. He is coming from heaven. Yeah. Okay. So you agree on that? That's wonderful. I, mean, that's, I feel like making a logical leap there. Okay. Well, we are going me and you together to see yeah. what is logical and what we agree upon first before we see our differences. Correct. That's that's okay. about, that's about yeah. that way, right? And then it says, that's and he is a spirit proceeding from him. All right. Okay. Okay. So now I didn't. I didn't know. If, I didn't know it said that. In, it says in the in the verse in the front of us, chapter four, verse one seventy one. Yeah. Okay. So now okay. those those are three things. And by the way, you are welcome to call me anytime. Sound like you are a nice gentleman and you are not a rude person, and I like that. So okay. let us let us me and you. Uh, what I can call you, Muhammad. What is your name? Um, you could call me Adam. Adam. Okay, Adam. So. The, the the Quran confirm in the front of us three things, as you see, that Jesus mm -hmm. first, he is a messenger of God, which means he's a man. Yes. Then he is the word of God. Now you agree with me that the word of God is coming from heaven, right? Well, that's where God is. So yes. Yes. 
That means Jesus is the word of God coming from heaven. So Jesus is not from this earth. In the Bible, Jesus said, my kingdom is not in this earth. I am from above. And that confirmed mm. what Jesus said, that he's from above. So Jesus, before he became a man, he, what he was, he was a word. Yeah. And that word became a man. His name is Jesus. Okay. We agree? Okay. So Jesus, who was the word of God in heaven, he came to earth as a man. And then that word, it says here that he is in the same time, he is a spirit proceeding from him, which means from Allah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, you speak English very well, I guess, better than me. Proceeding. Do you see the ING? Yes. Okay. Proceeding. When I say, from. Okay. When I say proceeding using the ING, it means this is something continues, right? Yes, if it's proceeding, yeah, yeah, okay. it's always that's continuing. Mean, that's mean always the spirit of Jesus is proceeding from Allah, spirit. Hmm. And now you tell me if Jesus is God or not. How Jesus is coming from above, how Jesus is the word of God, how Jesus is spirit yep. proceeding from God, yet he's not God. How that can be possible? That's a good point you make, to be honest with you. Um, Same time, my friend, Adam. Same time, yeah. you see, the second we say that he was a word in heaven, that means Jesus has exist before he was created as a man. That's true. Well, that's wonderful. Jesus said, before Abraham I am. This is in total agreement with the Bible when Jesus he said, before Abraham I am, which means my existence has nothing to do with my birth. Yeah, but... He, he had confirmed <laughs> that. Adam, it, it, don't you see it's confirming that? He was a word before he became a man. But the thing is that you don't even believe in the Quran, do you? Yeah, my, my friend, you see, I'm showing you from the Quran because you believe in the Quran, not me. Oh, well, you, your, your position is that the Quran is full of no, logical. I'm trying, content. I'm trying to show you how. You, you see, when I speak to somebody, believe, yeah. believe in yoga. I have to talk to him hmm. in the language of the yoga, which he understands. When I speak to yeah. somebody as a Hindu, I have to speak to him based on what he believes. Everybody, every one of us, have a background. If I go right now and sit with a farmer, what he knew, he knew yeah. how, how to dig in the ground, put a tree, he knew better than me than that. So I have to talk to him based on what he knew, based on what he believed in, not based on my belief or my philosophy. So I'm coming to you, I'm coming to you, and you see now we, we, have, a, we have a common ground in this point yeah. now that you and me ac accept. And now we have a better way and to understand how Jesus can be God. If the Quran yeah. confirmed that he was the word of God before he came to earth, then now you need to ask yourself the question how he was in heaven and the quran by the way it says his name what, do you remember the verse when the, the angel he came to mary and he said to her I, I i am here to 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 announce to you the gift of holy son his name is isa mm. so he have a name as isa before even he was born mm. so isa that... was isa was in heaven as a word of god but he is not a man yet mm. in chapter 19 verse 19 it says I am here to announce to you the gift of a holy son, which means Jesus was a holy in heaven. Now, if I ask you, if I say to you, the one who made my mother, Brettnet, is my father, do you agree with that? Can you repeat that? If I say to you, the man who made my mother, Brettnet, is my father, do you agree with that? No. What do you mean, no? The one who said... The one who slept with my mother or your mother, with my respect to her, he is the one okay. who made her. He made her bread net, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Who is the one who made Mary bread net? Well, um, according to all tradition, it's um, it's the spirit of God, isn't it? No, it's God. Okay, spirit cannot create. There is nothing. Nobody can create save Allah, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So who is the one who made Mary bread net? Allah. Yeah, well, okay. Was, yeah, so now, yeah. if we ask Christians, he said to you, Jesus is a son of God. Why? Yeah. Because who is the father of Jesus? Based on on our logic, is God. See. So now we confirm. Yeah. If we ask you now, as a Muslim, why mm. Jesus only is the only person who is born of a woman, but he don't have a father? You can't explain that it, to me. It's very significant. You are correct. All right. So what what, what the point then? Obviously, there is a God. Don't do things for no reason. There's a reason. What is the reason? Obviously, he's trying to show us something. Otherwise, 
Jesus should be the same. Why Muhammad have have a mother and father? Why Moses have a father and mother? Why Abraham? You have all of them. Uh, Abraham is is a great great man in in the in the history of Christianity, even in Islam. So why all of them they have normal parents, and after generation and generation, only one person in the whole universe is born, but yet he don't have a father. What the point? Mm, this is obviously it's a very unique occurrence, especially my friend. If I if I say now to you, my mother she gave birth to me, but she was she was a virgin. I mean, there's no proof or disapproval, correct? I mean, there's no point of this uh, miracle. Yes, that's true. Because anyone can claim your mother can claim same. My mother she can claim the same, and this would be funny. So what the point of saying that Mary she have no man, making such an incredible miracle when nobody can prove it? The purpose of miracles is, is to make people believe. Is that correct? Yes. To show the power of God. Okay, but this is a miracle nobody can see, nobody can witness. Yeah. It is something behind doors. There's no no need for it. Unless okay. unless there is something behind that idea that this person is not from this earth and he is the son of no man. Hmm. And that's why and that's why Jesus is God. Okay. What okay. Do you, what do you think? It's a lot to take in, to be honest with you. Um, I'm, I'm following your logic, however. So, because um, yeah, I'm, I'm open-minded. So, um, uh, although I've been raised in Muslim, uh, it's, it's obviously not in concrete. You know, um, I'm, I've got my own question, and there was one of my questions as to why you believe Jesus to be God. Um, to be honest with you, um, I, I follow your logic. Well, my friend, there's not, not only it's about logic. You see, if we say just a logic, then, uh, 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 you know, we, we need the, I don't know how to explain it to you. You see, when we say there's God, he made a tree. Hmm. Then why he made a tree? The tree is not made just to be there. The tree is made for a reason. So if, yeah. you, if, you, if, you, if you look at the complex of the earth, how it is, you will see everything complete each other, right? Yeah, the insects are there for a reason. The snake is there I for do. a reason. The cats, mm -hmm. the rats, the dogs, every every person, every human, every insect, every creature is exists for a reason. Now, mm -hmm. the existence of Jesus in such a situation, shouldn't we ask ourselves what is the reason? Yeah, I do ask my, I do ask myself that question. To be honest, that's wonderful. You. Why, why the Jesus in the Quran is called the holy? The Muslim they say to us, how God can be born of a woman, which means he's, you know, she gave birth to him from her private part, and they think this is an insult. You see, God is always holy. Even the Quran in chapter nineteen, verse nineteen, it says that I am here to announce to thee the the, the, the holy son. So Jesus, even he's born of a woman from her private part. Even the Quran confirmed that he's holy. So the Muslim here they have hypocrisy. When they want, they remember that Jesus is a person who is born of a you know, women private part. When they, when they mm -hmm. want, they ignore and they forget that Jesus is holy. How Jesus is just a prophet like everybody, but he never commits sin. How Jesus is a prophet like everybody, but he is coming from heaven. And now he is going back to heaven. He is in heaven right now, correct? That's what the Muslims say. According to the word, uh, you are correct. Yeah. So why, why Jesus is in the heaven? Why not Muhammad? The Muslims, they say mm -hmm. Muhammad is the greatest prophet. Do you think the greatest man to Allah, he will be in the grave and the one who is this great, he will be next to Allah right now? Well, if I think of it from my perspective, if I have someone who is very dear to me, um, I would want them with my son. See, so if, if Muhammad is the greatest, he should be now with Allah, not in the grave. Mm. Right? Now, Jesus, mm. the person who is a living person for thousands of years, is that a human to live for thousands and thousands of years until judgment day? Is that a human? No, thing? obviously. No, no. Obviously, it's not. So even the Quran, mm. in every step, every word, every line, confirmed to us that Jesus is a miraculous person. Even even the Quran confirmed when Jesus he was born, he spoke in the cradle. Do you agree with the Quran? Say say that last word again. Jesus he spoke in the cradle. Oh yes, yes, that's okay. correct. Muhammad he waited for forty years to receive inspiration of Allah, and he did not even talk to him. He sent him a guy. His name is Jibril. Is that correct? And he also received it from Angel Gabriel. All right. So why Jesus, in the first day of his life, he spoke as a prophet and took Muhammad 40 years to be a prophet? 